Okay, now next is lectures post basically posting periods and for posting periods we'll assign one that we have already defined that starts from january to december that is our fiscal year variant and posting period variant will be double a four two save it's already saved open and close we've already seen this double a four two over here from period one that is january to 12 that is december we have all open and 13 to 16 are special months for adjustments and reconciliation and depreciation and taxation and material reconciliation for bank reconciliation and everything okay now we have all posting periods done next part is ledger ledgers basically are very important we are part of your interview programs also we have a leading ledger and we'll go to company code and in company code we'll have cap nine now cap nine has only one currency and we need multiple currencies over here okay so multiple currencies double click currency conversion and we'll go for we'll go for page down page down uh no global currency conversion settings first and we'll create Come on. Okay, we have D1, yeah. 92, A1, D1. This is document currency. Okay. And profit center valuation. Okay. And currency conversion settings. We will go for currency current currency types also. And we'll just check. Okay, we have Y4, Y2 reporting currency, GBP will take this, okay, Y2. And new entries, new entries, cap nine currency, currency type will be Y2, GBP source currency will be 00, zero document currency. Document means whenever you are entering a document, it will take its currency. Okay, M standard average translation date will be posting here. When document is posted, it will then translate it. And we have reporting currency GBP and it will actually report in Y2. We we'll save it. Cap nine. Okay, next is company code settings. Now, this is a complex understanding. Cap nine, double click. Okay, accounting principle gap for functional currency is 10. Right now, we just have one currency to panel accounting, save. Okay, ledger, zero L, position, sorry.
just second Sarosh. Okay, cap nine, white. Okay, it was white two. Okay, white two is what we have actually paired with the company code. Now we'll go for global currency. Let's save it. We can assign eight more currencies for reporting. So anything that gets entered will be reflected in company code currency and GBP simultaneously and in parallel. Okay. Next. Okay. Next is important. That is controlling. General controlling. Maintain controlling area. Controlling areas company code cap nine. It will it will pick up everything USD. Okay. Cost center hierarchy will be cap nine. INT will be the financial statement version. You actually create financial statement versions and it will ask, okay. Cross company code component. Yeah. Yes, new entries, 2024 cost centers will be active, order management active, project sales order, cost objects. Okay, activity-based costing, active for parallel calculation variances, okay, assignment of company codes, new entries, cap 9, save, save. Okay. Okay, this is done. Okay, maintain versions. Now, what are versions? I'll tell you that too. Now, versions basically 0, 1, 2, 3. We have a version which captures plan values and actual values and compares it with variance. And there is also work in progress. Other versions can be like, for example, this can be for best case scenario, worst case scenario, and normal case scenario for your product costing. Okay. We'll go for zero controlling area settings. And it's LAP 9. Okay, okay, S. It will be cap nine. Okay. We'll go back again. Maintain version. Okay, zero, controlling area settings. 
zero. Now it is cap nine. Okay. Integrated planning. Save. LP01. Now these are just by default steps that you can also take. Okay, this is finished. Let's go back. Controlling, general controlling, organization. We have maintained versions, now defined ledger. Uh, new entries, this is important. Cap9, you've already made a controlling area, you've already maintained version, and now you have to integrate the base ledger, which is 0L, we've already done that. Okay, so we integrate all three at one place, okay? Okay, next is maintain number ranges. Cap nine, change groups, create group, cap nine, zero nine. Zero nine. Now, why I'm doing this? I'll just tell you because when we pass financial documents, there will be automatic pass, uh, automatic posting of CO documents. So these CO documents will take numbers from document numbers will be taken from this range. Okay, save. Now, what transactions will be run in CO? That I'll tell you. Okay, coin, coin, CO postings, assign element to group. We have our assignment element over here. Okay, then we have RKU1, repost cost, assign element to group. Okay, RKU2. Sign element to group. Uh, RKU three. So these are basically posting from cost one cost item. That is cost. It can be cost center to cost center from admin cost center to production cost center. So where are we? Where are we assigning it over here? Okay. So we are giving this number range. So anything going through this. Transaction will take number ranges from here. Okay, easy. This is saved. Okay, we have maintained the versions. Now let's go into details. Okay. Okay. Um, financial accounting, global settings, ledgers, integration with controlling, check and define default values for postings and controlling. Okay, new entries, cap nine, zero one, ledger group zero L, and this is the variant which has all CO transactions. I know this is not yet understandable, but let me show you. Okay, now what are the, what are transactions for CO? Now, these are the transactions for, for example, the, this is the CO document type, and this will be, this will post in GL accounts and secondary costs, and it will be used over there, okay? Zero, one will be the range. Variants for transactions, 
CO business transactions, what are these? Zero one is a variant that we assign. And in this, in this variant, we have these transactions of CO, like data transfer, reposting cost, primary cost, secondary cost, distribution, actual cost center accrual, and so many. Okay. All are mapped in this. Okay. I know this is complex, but just go by the book. Okay. And we've already assigned the default values. We've already defined the ledger for CO version. Okay. We've already done this. Okay, next is controlling profit center accounting, basic settings, set controlling area, which is cap nine already, controlling area settings, maintain controlling area settings. Now this is controlling area and it will have a standard hierarchy for profit center and that will be cap nine. Profit center local currency type will be profit center currency. We're not giving any currency here. Activate indicator 2024 because CO currency is USD. Save enter currency and currency type 90. Okay, let me just check because I want to bypass this group currency, controlling area currency. Controlling area currency is okay. And this is profit center's own currency because your plants or your uh your 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 plants will be in may be functioning in the UAE, okay? Data was saved. Now let's go and create a dummy profit center. Analyze direct posting, set control parameters for actual data. New entries, 2024 line items, online transfer, online transfer, means it will happen real time and it will create line items, not totals. Controlling area cap nine is incomplete. Okay, maintain controlling area setting. I think I'll have to go by this one. Okay. Some reason I think it's blocking. So I can control parameters for actual data. So maybe. Okay, let's go to the year. Profit center. Dummy. Why why do we create dummy? Because admin cost centers which do not have anything with production report to this dummy profit center. Okay. Profit center is not valid. Cap nine. Cap nine dummy. Okay, okay, create. I was changing basic data. Okay. Cap nine dummy, cap nine dummy. Profit center group, standard hierarchy, which is saved, saved now. Okay. Now we go to basic settings, control parameters for actual data, inventories, 
Okay. Now save. Okay. We have already done this now. Find pocket center. Okay. BK one zero zero one. Plant one and two. Cap one. Cap. Cap one and cap two. Gym, profit center group. And K. Okay, we had uh, We don't have any segment, car division, SUV division. Okay, let's go for DAP9. DAP9. So what we are doing here, basically, plant one and two will be creating passenger vehicles. Okay. Okay. Create profit center. Copy from K one zero one zero zero one two. This will be plant cap three. Cap three. And this will be that group SUVs. Okay. Continue. Okay. Okay. The next part is cost center account. Cost center accounting, master data, custom source. Accounting, controlling, cost center accounting, master data, cost center, K01 PA. Okay. K00, okay. KC1001, 2024, master data, and watch. Body shop. Production. Hierarchy area. Cap 9. Profit center. A100. one Save. Okay. KC one zero two, KC one zero zero one, zero uh controlling in the cap nine. 
Assembling. Assembling. Okay. Chapter nine. What's the data? Pain shop. Pain shop. Okay. We are not giving any profit center to this one. Okay. Save. Enter. Okay. We're done with this. Now let's go and check FS double zero. And over here we create SAP nine. Retained earnings. Copy one hundred one hundred SAP nine. Queen status variant is not given. Okay. SPRO financial accounting global settings fields assign company code between status variants zap nine okay cap nine Zap nine. We already have this template. We'll discuss what this is later on. Okay. Okay. FS double zero. Zap nine. Copy. Cap nine. Everything is copied. Save. Okay. Okay. Expenses. Double click. Cap nine. Save. Okay. Salary, rent account. Double click. Cap nine. We're just copying it just to save time. Okay. Okay, this we have made. Now let's see what we have made. Cap nine. This is the account, and these are the salary and rental account. And Zap uh, nine assets, cash account, the cash account for cap nine. We've already made that too. Okay, save. Okay, next is KS01 and KC2001. Cap 9. Processing. Processing. And... Okay. Plant one can okay save this is also saved okay next is ksh one production hierarchy production cost centers cost center kc one zero zero one KC1002, KC2001. Body shop assembling and processing. This is what we've made. Saved. Okay.
F is double zero. Is that the line? Traveling expenses. Okay. Gap nine. Save. Okay. Um, next is KAH one. KAH one. Yeah. Admin. We already on this course when we were part of accounts that nine is the object with level expenses. Admin is already there, 4591. Okay. Okay. Personal. Rental salary. Okay. This is also there. And now let's go to the FB01L. This is our posting now. We are already in just three steps, three classes, 400, 500. Number range is missing. Okay. I hope we can create a document before the session ends. Continue without specifying. Copy the company code. Zap nine. Cap line. Execute. Yes. Interval added. Copy to fiscal year. Two thousand twenty-three, two thousand twenty. Oh, twenty. Twenty-four. Execute. Yes. Interval already exists. Okay, fine. Let's do it in the next class, okay? It's already done.